Good morning. Uh, excuse me, I have a reservation for Jesus Lopez. Welcome, Mr. Lopez. Of course. Allow me for a moment. Yes, thank you. Yes, <laughs> finally. Oh, God. I think there's a mistake. Apparently, you have been assigned a, a room with only one bed. <laughs> no, it's okay. That's the one we ask for. Yes. <laughs> And the payment will be on cash or card? With a card. It says it's failed. Oh no! Oh, I'm sorry. We have been having a lot of trouble with this pin pad. But if you want, I can go with my boss and tell him that you... No, don't worry. There's an ATM nearby. We'll go and grab some cash. We'll be right back. Let's go. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Mr. Guillermo, I'm sorry to interrupt you, boss, but we have a rainbow coat in the hotel. There are two sisters who... What did you say? What did you attempt them? Kick them out of them! Or we have more of them! But I can kick them out because they made a reservation online. All right, attempt them. I'll take care of them. Um, yes, sir. Um... One more thing. I forgot to tell you they reserved the presidential suite. What did you say, idiot? Imagine if Mr. Miguel Saldana get in that room and sees him. I won't be able to sell this, this hotel. Besides, his family man, he has five children. And if he sees two sissies laying in the bed. <gasps> oh no! God forbid it! No! What can I do? He'll freak out when he sees him in my hotel's reputation. We go to hell and thanks to you! Oh, I know. Forgive me. But look, I made them waste a lot of time. I told them the pin pad wasn't working, so they went to an ATM. But they will come back in no time, huh? All right. Let's go, I'll talk to them. Gentlemen, I am Guillermo Hernandez, and I'm the owner of this hotel, and I'm really, really sorry for the inconvenience you had with the pimpet. <laughs> Don't worry, we know those things happen. Since we cleared that up, come on, I'll show you your room. Shall we? Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just, uh, if you want to get ahead, I'll go with you in a minute. <laughs> Right here, please. Excuse us. Thank you. Listen very closely. As soon as we get in the elevator, I want you to stop it. I want to see it by tripping them. I can make them leave my hotel, okay? As you wish, boss. All right. As you can see, this hotel is very antique, and there may be some failures on the elevator. Failures? What failures? It got stuck. But well, I hope this is not the down, case. Down. Don't worry, please. Relax. See? I told you. No, 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 no. I'm claustrophobic. I'm really, uh, I'm really scared of very small places. Hey, 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 calm down. Calm down, baby. Honey, okay, no, calm no, down. No, no, no. I'll I, see I, if I, I can I, talk to someone out there. If there's service. Hey, hey. Calm Oops, down, please, guess baby. what? There's no service. Hey, hey, hey. Calm down. No, calm I, down, I, please, I honey. Breathe. Honey, no, no. hey, look me in the eyes. No, please. no help, help me. Hey, baby, no, baby, no, calm no, down. Take no. it easy. Look, look him in the eyes. Breathe. Breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. Look at me, honey. Everything's fine. Everything will be okay. Okay, calm down. Okay, please, please, calm down. Take 
it easy, baby. <laughs> Look, it's open. Well, I'm so ashamed. I'm sorry, but you know that these things happen, and... Look, we were lucky it happened so fast. Go ahead, please. Gentlemen, this is your room. <laughs> now what? I think we have issues with the key. The receptionist gave us the wrong key, but... Don't worry, we can solve this in no time. Hey, calm down, honey. Look, he'll take care of it. I'll go down to change the key. You can go rest a little at the lobby. Uh, and I'll be right back. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm really tired. I need you to help me get rid of two faggots. I'll be you really good. This hotel is really nice, right? Are you hungry? Yes, a lot. Hello, friends. For business or vacations? We came for vacations. Oh, that's good. I know a place that you love and the girls are really hot. What do you say? Shall we go for some fun or what? No, uh, no thank you. The thing is that these are our honeymoon vacations. Oh, I'm sorry. So what are your wives? Uh, what happens is that he and I... Oh. Oh, so you mean this is your honeymoon? Yes, that's right. Very well. Listen closely, Fruity. Take your princess and get out of my sight. Did you get it, little dog? <laughs> Repeat what you said, <laughs> asshole. Let me go, please. Let me go. Oh, it Who's the little doll? <laughs> Enough, please, Gustavo. Let him go, okay? Oh, no, tell me to let him go. Let him I go now. You again. I'll break your <laughs> fingers. <laughs> Mr. Guillermo, I hope you pay me real good for this because I almost lose my fingers. Ow. Sir Guillermo. Gentlemen, uh, I'm sorry for the inconvenience, but your room will be ready in 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Sir, we have more than one hour here and you haven't given us anything. Don't get desperate, honey. They'll give us their room in no time. Oh, look, the real key for your room is here. <laughs> so see? let's go. Let me go with you, shall we? Yes. Take it easy. Hey, what are you doing? I'm just cleaning my shoes with this piece of rack. I won't allow you this. Take your disgusting shoes off of that flag. You won't allow me what? You damn sick cats. What did you say? What you heard, little fairy. I'm tired of you too to be staining the image of my hotel. Staining the image just because we're married? Okay, one thing very different is that you go and do all your dirty things in your house where no one can see you. But other thing is that you come with your perversion here in my hotel. Just showing off your gayness as if nothing. Okay, what is your problem? That we are gay? You haven't really thought about the other guests. How would they feel being in the same bed that was used by two sissies? Look, imagine what would they feel if right now you're Disgusting by holding their hands. Now imagine what would they feel being in the same bed after you. Okay, I won't allow you. You have no power here! And march less in my hotel! This is my place! So I won't allow that two f stay in my hotel, understood? 
Did you hear that, Mr. Miguel Saldaña? Sir? A pleasure. I heard everything. Every damn word that you said. But I didn't say anything. And what are you doing here? You don't know. You gave me the key of this room and told me that I could come over any time that I wanted. And I realized that the elevator wasn't working, so I had to use the stairs. I'm really sorry for that. Forgive me. The ones you should apologize is to them. For the way you treated them, you should be ashamed. But if I treat them like that was... was because I thought you would dislike this behavior. Of this pervert. The truth is that you're a family monster with five children and, and, and I guess... Yes! I am a father. I have five sons. And one of them is right there. I'm sorry, sir, but I didn't know he was your son. Save your damn apologies! I hate cynics and two-faced people like you. And forget about the deal we had. I won't buy the hotel of the idiot that insulted my son and my in-law. So now, get out! Come on! Never allow that any person comes and tells you that you're worthless just because you have different preferences. And never, ever feel ashamed of what you are and what you feel. Thank you, Dad. Thank you. This, maybe to a lot of people, represents us a simple rag. But I know that for you it represents a whole community that is fighting for their rights so they are no longer discriminated.